You must know that he hears prayer. Why? Because Jesus said, my, the house of my father is a house of so if, if he called us his house is a house of prayer, that means his ears are open. Amen, amen. Anybody need to amen. accept something? Lift your hands and begin to accept. He hears amen, you. Amen, amen. Come on, lift your hands and speak to him. Amen, amen. I know most of you, you have something going on with you one way or the other. So Lord, I'm in your house. I'm to you that hears prayer. I pray to you. Not to the pastor, not to the minister. I pray to you. And he said, all flesh will come. Iniquities prevail against me. You see, they will begin to tell God. I'm here, Lord. To you who wants a prayer, let me begin to tell God. You know, iniquity is prevailing. It's prevailing against me. I can't talk to the priest. I can't talk to the pastor, but I'm here to talk to you because I'm in your house. And to you. And you who hears prayer, I pray to you. Iniquity is prevailing in the oh my God. You have to hear me. You have to play games, play games, play games. You have a lot of stuff going on in you. You carry a whole lot of baggages. That you yourself can't throw out. But to you. Who hears prayer. I'm in your house. Hear my prayer this morning. Things are prevailing against me. Hey. My enemies are too strong for me. As for our transgressions. You will provide atonement for them. Now, verse 4, look at it. It says in verse 4, Blessed. Blessed is the man. Look at this. Not the man that just come, that you choose. So if you're here this morning, God choose you to be here. You thought you just went over the church. No, God choose you to be here. It's not by accident. Tell you about, I'm not here by accident. I was chosen to be here. And because I was chosen, I'm blessed. Because I wanted to know the devil has chosen for you to go somewhere else. But God said, not this one. God said, not this one. I have chosen this one to draw close to me. And calls to approach. He has, now he has given you the, the, the freedom to approach him. To him that answers prayer. You see, the reason why most people come in, this, come in one way but the same way, is because they don't know who's answer prayer. They, they come for the pastor to pray for them. They come to the apostles. To, they come for the men. No. No, they will say to you the answers. <laughs> Hallelujah. I come to you. I don't want to leave here the same way, Master. Because you got to remember, ministers are vessels of God. So what God does he poured this revelation. He poured the answer that you are praying for into that minister, and then he, re he released it through that minister to you. So if you don't ask him anything, you receive nothing. Many people testify, said, I am going to, Lord, I'm coming to your house, and I want you to touch me. I want you to heal me. I want you to deliver me. I want you to provide. Boom! The minister begin to have revelation. There's somebody here asking God for this, asking God for that. This is me. But you're asking God for nothing. So you can't reveal anything. You are blessed. God has chosen you to be here. Look at your neighbor one more time. I'm not here by accident. I have been chosen. Why are you talking so easy? I have been chosen. 
You know, sometimes you go to God and so you see three parts that you paid for. I mean, going back there. He chose you. He chose you to be the fourth person. Sometimes he chooses to be the second part, but it doesn't matter. It's not the multitude. Hallelujah. It's your heart condition with God. Anyhow, let's continue. That he may dwell. You see, you see what it says? Let me read back for our score from the top. It said, Blessed is the man you chose. And calls to approach you that he may dwell in your courts, we shall be satisfied. I don't know if you see this. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house. The Bible says all good and perfect gifts come from God. There is goodness in your house of your holy temple. Okay, let me read first. By awesome deeds in righteous you will. When you make your prayer to the Lord, to the one that answered what he said, by awesome deeds, that means miracles, signs, wonders. He will answer you. Amen, amen, amen. You are sleeping. This is, this is so powerful that I can run all of this building. But all, he said, when you make your prayer to him by awesome deeds, my God, that means nothing will be impossible. When you, when you come in there with impossibilities, God makes it possible. But it doesn't happen because you just come. It, come. it happens when you make your prayer to the one that answers prayer. Amen. Now, begin to ask him. You, the house, close your eyes, lift your hands, and begin to speak to the one that answers prayer. Begin to, begin to speak to the one that answers prayer. Come on. You see, you, God has given you the opportunity right now to come to Him, to approach Him. Why are you wasting your time? Come on, He's given you an opportunity. He's given you this opportunity to approach Him. Approach Him. Make a request to Him. Do you hear what they said? Iniquity. The noise of their waves 
and the trial of the peoples, you will still the noise of the sea, the waves, you still it. Lord, there's a lot of waves going on around me. I speak, be still. They also who dwell in the forest parks are afraid of your sight. <laughs> they are afraid of the signs of God. But these things only happen when you pray to the one that answers for you. You make the outgoings of the morning and the evening rejoice. Yes, Lord. Make my outgoing and the evening rejoice. Make my own outgoing of the morning and evening rejoice. I will rejoice in the morning and I rejoice in the evening. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide their grains for for so you have prepared it. You water its roots abundantly. You settle the furrows. You make it soft. You are hearing me. This is the work of God we're talking about. Not the work of men. You make it soft with showers. You bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness. Lord, crown my year with goodness. Come on, lift those hands. Speak to Lord, crown my year with goodness. Maybe your year began, began with sadness, but God is going to crown it with goodness. Why don't you open your mouth? You crown, crown my year. Four more months left in this year. Let it be crowned with you think I can do it for you? You might even say it for yourself. I'm talking for myself. Now crown the rest of this year with goodness. Crown my year with goodness. The enemy had a plan to take me out in 2021, but I'm still standing. But now God, I'm asking for the rest of the year. You crown it. And my parts drip with abundance. Let my part drip with abundance. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Before I continue, let me, let me tell this to you. Whatever comes out your mouth will satisfy you. Proverbs 18, 20, and 21 said that. It said, a man shall be satisfied with the word that comes out of his mouth. Life and death. There. A lot of us we are where we are because of the words that we have said. Now, God is giving an opportunity to approach him and speak good things. You you cry Hallelujah. 
They're trapped on the parchers of the wilderness. And the little hills rejoice on every side. The parchers are clothed with flocks. The valleys also are covered with green. They shout for joy. They also sing. You see what is the end of it? He shall it start to the God of answer prayer. And he said, Iniquity is prevailing. But God said, will answer the great signs and wonders. And the result is that I'm going to walk and drip abundance. And because of my abundance, the hill will rejoice, the mountain will rejoice, everything is going to rejoice. I want you to let God begin to bless you, everything around you rejoice. Y'all are not ready for this. Yes. To the God! Yes. To the God! Yes. An answer's prayer. I know who to run to. I said, I know who to talk to. When I'm in problem, I know who to talk to. I'm talking to the God! When iniquity is prevailing against me, I know who to talk to. I know who to fall. I'm falling the one that always answers. His battery never run down. <laughs> he doesn't wear pajamas, he doesn't sleep nor slumber. You see, the depend on pasta, I just wear pajamas. And most of the time, my battery is down. But to the one that answers first. To the invisible God, to the Almighty, oh my, I don't have a church. I said to the Almighty, the Prince of Peace, the everlasting. Is anybody here in this house? The everlasting, the creator of heaven and earth. To the one that answers prayer. Thank you, Father. To allowing me to approach you, to allowing me to choose, you have chosen me to be here this morning. And I say thanks. Lord, I don't have complaints, but I have requests that you will answer your people. With great signs and wonders, stretch forth your hands and let signs and wonders be done in the precious and mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, people say amen. 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 Say amen. amen. God is answering. Amen. I said, God is answering. Amen. I said, God is answering. Amen. I can testify of that. You know, two weeks. I've been to the doctor, the doctor said your pressure is high, 19, 19. I went back a couple days after, he says 1912, they keep going up. And the doctor was afraid. He said, Do you have anybody to take you to the to the bar, urgent? I said, But I'm feeling good. He said, This is dangerous, it can burst something in your head and it could even give you stroke. All type of thing he said. He said, it's causing one of your REM, I don't know what call it in English, to malfunction. Kidney. Kidneys. I said, but I'm good. He said, okay. But therefore, yesterday, every day, I, the kid, I bought a machine to check. Every day, 18, 17, 1, 18, 1, go on to 19 again. Then, that was when? Today's what? Saturday? Thursday, I brought the machine, Sister Max, check it, was 18-1. But Thursday afternoon, I was in my room praying, and this, and this presence of God came in my room. I said, God, put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. You see, I talked to the one who can answer prayer. <laughs> I said, I talked to the one that answers prayer. Y'all not hearing me. Listen to me, don't you ever think I wasn't nervous? Every time I put the machine, 18-1, 18-1, 18-1, 18-1, 18-1, 18-1, 18-1, 18-1, 18-1, 18-1, 18-1, 18-1, 18-1, 18-1, 18-1, 
19 watts. Some, some night when I sleep in my head is beating pop, 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 pop. I don't know if you all know about that. Sometimes I don't sleep till 5 o'clock in the morning. My head, my head, my head, my head. Thursday, I said, Lord, put your hands on me. That's what I said. Put your hands on me. Then I hear God said, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. I said, it's gone. Y'all not hear me. I heard him say, it is gone. I stood up and I shake my head. I could not have done that. Oh, man, I could not have done this. And yesterday I was running, running. I could not have run. To the God that answers prayer. Somebody need to clap their hands and thank him. And he's going to answer you if you mean business. I said he's going to answer you if you mean business. Tell him but don't be afraid of nothing. Because you serve a God that answers for <laughs> Put your hands 
of me. Come on, children, get some in school. So don't put your hands on me. No fire school touch me when your hands are up. No pants of the enemy can overcome me when you, your hands are up on me. Put your hands on me. Hey, Armando, Robo. Mando, Robo, Shaka. Put your hands on me. Put your hands on me, Papa. Put your hands on me. Keep it on me, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey! Put your hands on me, Papa. Let it stay on me. Let it stay on me. Let it stay on me. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This morning, I ask that you put your hands on your servant as she comes to minister. Yeah, yeah, Carmando. Put your hands on her. Keep your hands on her. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's clap our hands we invite Minister Rishana and she comes to hear the word of God.
This morning, this is my testimony. This is my declaration. I will be what you want me to be. This morning, I want to thank you, Papa. As I decrease and you're increasing me, let your perfect will be done. I give you praise, I give you honor, I give you all the glory because it belongs to you. Jesus' name. As we continue standing just for a few for the reading of the word, let us read the book of Matthew chapter 15 from verse 21 to 28. And we will go to Job 21, Job chapter 1, verse 8. Matthew chapter 15, verse 21 to 28, and Job chapter 1. Amen. Then Jesus went out from there and departed to the regions of Sarah and Saba. And behold, a woman came from that region, cry out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, the son of David, for my daughter is privately demon-possessed. But he answered her not a word. And the disciple came to him, came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cried out, for she cried out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not good to take the, the children's bread and show to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord. Yet even the little dog eat from the crumbs which fell from the master's table. Jesus answered and said to her, O woman of great fear, let it be done, let it be to you as you desire. And, and her daughter was healed from that hour. Let us go to Job chapter 1. Verse 8. Read. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? That, that, are, that is no one like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, one that fear God and shot evil. Father God, this morning I give you praise, I give you honor, and I give you glory. Papa, this morning I know that your word is forever blessed. Papa, oh God, as you let me, there I will go. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name, as your spirit over this place, let your perfect will be done. Amen. Can we all sing? I want to say a blessed good morning to the most important person in this place. And I want to let you know and acknowledge that Jesus is the most important person in this place. I was a while ago I was hearing that the apostle was telling you, ask God to put his hands upon you. You see, when the hands of God upon you is the best hands, not man hand. Now man hand, because right now you're not looking to see who put in the hand upon you. Let the hands of God Remain. Ask God for a touch every day. Ask God for a fresh touch every day. I want to send a blessed good morning to the apostle of this house. And I want to give God praise and thanks because he obeyed that I, that I get a privilege to minister the word of God. Amen. And a blessed good morning to you lovely saints. It's a privilege to be in the house of God. God is a good God. Saints of God, when God speaking, all different fight come. But God is still good. God is still good. God is still good. 
for the past, I know I have to be in store, but God is still good. You see, when God is with you, when God is with you, no matter what come up, God is with you. Amen. Amen. So much of life, but God is still good. I give God praise because he's worthy to be praised. And I will not stop giving him praise. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Let us go back to, to Matthew chapter 15. You see, you see this story? This is a powerful story. Saints of God is a powerful story. I already preached this message. But sometimes when God gives you back again no revelation. God is good. This is a powerful message. Saints of God, this morning, God is asking your desperation. How desperate, how desperate you are. This is what God is asking. How desperate. You don't want to know how desperate your neighbor. You want to know how desperate you really are. How desperate you are. This morning. That is what Jesus, God is asking. How desperate. Saints of God, this is a story about a woman. And when, if you understand the story and you read this story, this woman had no right to go to Jesus. But saints of God, this woman had a problem. She had a problem. The Bible says she daughter was demon possessed. Saints of God, she went every way seeking for help. I believe she went the wrong place out. But here what about it? The Bible said in, the, in, 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 in another chapter, because it that different, in that mark of this, in that different chapter having, the Bible says she heard about Jesus. She had not no right, but she heard about him. And since of God, when she heard about Jesus, and she heard the good thing, that Jesus was doing. She had to just speak to herself and say, I don't have the right. Because the Bible said the Jews and the Cyrenians had no mix. The Jews and the Cyrenians, they had no dealings to get up. But saints of God, this woman speak to herself. And she said, no, it's not time for who I am mixing with. Because I am mixing with my mighty serenians and they are doing nothing for me. So even though I have no right to go to this man, I care about him. I am going to mix now. I don't care who I am. I am going to him because I care about him. So she, so she encouraged herself. She said, I am going there. The Bible says she cry out. You see, she didn't go cry out to man. Yes. She go and cry out to the healer. Yes, yes. This woman did not go and cry out to man. One she cry out to the one that is able to make this situation come to an end. Yes. Saints of God. When we read, you see what it is? Saints of God, I want to get to this point. You're coming here. You're coming with your own thing. And you're coming crying to God. Don't the dog and irritate some people. You're coming to the end. I said it and irritate people. When you get desperate and you come crying to God, it can irritate even the people in hell. I'm going to 
strong. Send the God, you will come crying, desperate, and they will get fed up to you. Why should I always cry? So like a this, so like a dog. Why should I be crying, crying in a maze? But I come to tell you something. Why the hell should I cry? God said the time, because me come to you.
Don't ask God what if pastor doing and we need us doing and what if choir people them on the earth to do it. Ask God who you doing. Because when situation comes to me, I cannot ask God what pastor do it. I go and say, God, what are you doing? God tell your daughter to shine up your part to go around because I've got to make it right. Yes. I've got to make it right. I've got to put things in order. God, if I can put them, you got to help. But only with your help. I've got to put things in order. Saints of God, I'm going to Job chapter 1, verse 8. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? That is no one like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, one that fear God and shun evil. Saints of God, saints of God, saints of God. See, Satan always standing in our present, and God is in our present. So can God turn to Satan? And ask him, have you considered my servant or Shanna? He could say, can God ask Satan that? Can, have you considered my servant or Shanna? One that is blameless and upright. A saints of God, I am preparing myself for, because God got to boast in me too. The God that I'm serving, he got to boast in me too. He got to boast in me too because I am practicing righteousness. So he got to boast in me. Just like we boast in Job, he got to boast in me. So we got to encourage ourselves in the things of God. So God could stand and say, Satan, have you considered this woman one that is blameless, one that you have had and you have to lose it? One that you had and your heart to lose it because you can't get your back. I open him up. He cannot get me back. Amen. So God can boast in me. And we got to encourage ourselves to God boasting us. Because God boasts in Job. He said, one that is blameless and upright, that shun evil, that shun, that fear God and shun evil. You fear God. You see, when we have the fear of God upon our life, we will not do certain things. Even if it show up. Because Satan was in the presence all the time seeking how he could go and touch Job. He could not have touched Job if God didn't allow him. You see, Satan got authority to not for we life. Because we let God take full control. You see, God was full control of the life of Job. Because Job was a man walking in hard. He was not a disciple. All right, all right. He was a man walking in hard. So God got a boast and says, Satan, I know you're the here. And you're looking to see how you could touch Job. But you're considering him. You see, even when God moved the edge, is it said, because you are the edge. That's it, I'm moving it. Because I could boast in him. I'm moving it because I could boast in this man here. Because this man is faithful in all his ways. Thanks of God. Without faith is impossible to please God. And this woman, before she leaves your house, she had to walk with your feet. She had to walk with your feet. You see, when you're desperate, I can remember when in the morning I get up because I had a sad encounter the night before that a big truck would have knocked me down on there. And you see, when you walk here, you just run anyway. You run the right place, I run in the house of God. Saints of God, they had a woman there. Ask 
and the pastors who should come for you just gotta watch some of them. I said, me even look at she because we come to you. I come to the pastor. I did not come to you. I come to the pastor because it's only me and the believe I can even run to God. How I be so nasty and shame I to go to God. But I go to the pastor. Pastor say, stay there, go to you. Because I can't do nothing for you. <laughs> but I tell you something. You see when you're desperate running, they can say, I'll start for pain. Yeah. I am listen to Shia because I get fed somewhere out of the place. I, my ears was definitely there. Because God knows I believe answers. God knows how I believe answers. I run when no man was tracing me. I run when no man was tracing me. The day before I was riding and dining, drinking and cannot. But at another day, I get to run. I run when no man was tracing me. But since I was so desperate, I tell you me, and if, if God had been with me to the place, I would have torn out black people when I hear. But when God bring you to a place, you desperately need answer, you will come and hear where you got to hear. Because you need to change. You need to change. It's change we come looking for. Saints of God, me go to it easy, you know. I said from 2012, and now me go to it easy, you know. But I have to make up my mind. Sometimes I say, I ain't coming back. Sometimes I say, I ain't coming back. And then I take back my words. I got it. I stay right here. You come here, y'all. Yeah, I can't help me. Saints of God, the devil don't you know that he's from out there to bring you out there. Right. It's the people right in the house. <laughs> right in the mix of us, the devil will use them if they avail themselves to bring you out. But when you desperate, when you desperate, it has nothing, nothing or no one. You're gonna get all sorts of things, you're gonna get fed up, God, you know, flesh. When you're in your flesh, but we got to allow God to bring us to the place. Amen. This woman said, this desperate woman was a child, she a child and in a situation. The child was in that situation. And maybe, maybe she caused it. Because some situation we and our children in is we will self cause it. Yes, yes. Some, some is them the self and some is we we self cause it. And the woman I come to the place and said, is I cause it. Nobody know what she was doing, but God know what she was doing. And she said, today, I need to bring myself down and tall because I need answers. I need answers. My daughter is in this position to die. was in that position a long time. And that woman went all over. And when she come to the right places, then she get an embarrassment. You see, when you go in the wrong place, Satan will make it look nice. You will hear nice words, but no effect. No effect. And nothing good come easy. No effect. When you go in the wrong place, no effect. Cause the Bible says she went all over and she hoard. She healed. She said, she said, I go in. Even though we have no dealings from today on, I got to get dealings with this man. Cause this man have the answer. Since of God. The Bible said from that hour, that woman child was of that infirmity. 
because of our desperation. Saints of God, how desperate is your worship towards God? That woman brings herself down and kneel. She kneel down even though all the embarrassment. They said, chase your way. I can get called a dog. She get called all sorts of names. But that woman come and said, me come for them. I come for whatever the saying. I come for one thing and I'm not leaving this place without that thing. And when we leave our home, stop coming, be just like you're coming to another church day. You're coming because you need an encounter with the man that is in here. The healer, the deliverer, the one who can change any situation because nothing is too big for Jesus. Nothing is too big for Jesus. And we need to leave our home and come with that desperation. Saints of God, a lot of things I don't be testifying. But you got people that will talk and testify. Saints of God, this woman standing here, I went to it easy. But I thank God for Jesus. The Bible said in, 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 in Timothy, God knows all those that is in God knows. The promise of God stand sure, and God know all who is in. So don't matter what the enemy try, he cannot take you if you got give up your life for you. Because your life is in Jesus, because God know who is in. Not everybody's God know. God know his own. And sense of God, even when I used to things I know because I used to get that fear and when you get in the fear you know that you can't stay here forever you got to move yes, yes, yes. my life is not mine even if I try to do wrong I get conviction I got to do the things God want me to do as far as I said, you, you are a chosen one. It's not my power, so. right. God knows you are dating to me. God are dating to me. It's a sense of God, the question God is asking, how desperate you are. How desperate. You come in the arm, I can get your vex. Pastor can get your vex. Everybody can get your best. But you, if you make up in your mind to serve God, don't matter, God, this is not nobody else, this is God. God, I am walking obedient to you, and I ain't care what I say. I ain't care what I say. I come to serve you. There's a place we gotta get at. I come to serve you. I come for answers from you. I come crying out to you. Because nobody can help me. The apostle that I live it. He cannot help me. God is my only help. And the Bible says, it is impossible to please God if you don't have faith. In Ephesians chapter 2. It is impossible to please God without faith, saints of God. We got to have faith in the God we serve in. It's best we don't serve him. God, if you serve somebody, you don't believe he could do something for you. Most serve who you believe that he could do something for you. If you serve him at this God and he's not doing nothing for you, it's best to go. Saints of God, one time they come, I was done, I was coming to church, Christian. Already 
being used on the altar. And the police was looking for me. People went all over saying the police looking for me. I tell them the police can't look for me. They say, yes, it's you. A woman get hold, I said, the police take she for me. I said, how the police could take you for me? I don't think I'll be different. Anyhow, I said, the police looking for me, they come, they come. They come the next year. They come. And they said, we want you at the station. I tell them, please, I can't come today. Because I got authority. I can't come today. Tomorrow when I send my children to school, I will be there. They laugh me up. No question, no answer. When they come out, they ask, who you call? I call the impossible. I said, the police got me here. I just tell you them, answer prayer or nothing. Because I get, when I go back down in the cell, I get to God. <laughs> me and the police lock like me up here and they train go to school. They say, okay, they say, take me with and they read me my rights. He said that I robbed somebody. Don't come into church. He saw the devil is a liar. Don't come into church already functioning upon the altar. Don't get, don't be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Right. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and he's an accuser. You see, when I know that me and I know with this. Says of God, no man can stand from me. So I go back in the cellar and in the middle of And I said, Jesus! Let me tell you something. I want you to listen. Just so. I said, listen to what I'm saying. If you don't shop for me here, it doesn't make sense I saw you. Because my enemies are rejoicing over me. I ain't got no witness. I want no liar. I ain't want nothing. The candidate bring me out, kind me in. I don't talk to that in hell. I am going back. Because if you can't stand up for me, it doesn't make sense. Alright, alright. When afternoon comes, we send people out of the court. They get a car, the purple car, prosecutor car. Um Lose this woman, Caddy. The, the woman, the person that accused her, unfortunately, they don't want to come in front of me. <laughs> because they ask me if I have any requests. Because they don't, they, you see, men have done jail you before, yeah, the yeah, people yeah. who got jail you, jail you. Yeah. She doesn't know I got in jail. The inspector woman doesn't know I go in jail. She doesn't say, I have any requests before you go to prison. I said, me, I have any requests, but I got one request. Let the person come in front of me, who I rob, and says, I rob them. Then I want to come back and say, free that woman. <laughs> and nobody is to go back and picture, free she, sign. Every inspector asks the interpreter, what I'm actually should have to say. I said, I glory go to God. I got nothing to say coming out. You can't, you can't. I can tell God. Because it's he free me. Watch it. I said, we all glory and honor go to the God I saw. Because in you know I am innocent. And when you're innocent, God turn. You cannot go to God when you're not innocent. You see, I could boast in God, even though you can't boast in me. I could boast in God. I could boast. I 
Because sometimes when men bring you down, even your own self bring down yourself. Right. Because your heart is condemning you. But the Bible tells me, my doctor, when your heart condemns you, know that I am bigger than your heart. And I call you, I call no perfect woman. I did not call no perfect woman because there's not a reason that I am here. I come to seek and to save the last souls. And you is I choose you. I choose you. And because I choose you, I am more and fashion you if you allow me to do it the way I want. So this is my prayer, God. I will be what you want me to be. I will be the person you want me to be. Not what man wants, it's who you want. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, it says, By grace we have been saved through faith. Not, not that, not by, not by our own self. It is the gift of God. Not by work, lest anyone shall, should boast. By grace, saints of God. The Bible says, not by our own work. And our work to God is filthiness. Our righteousness is filthiness. It's by grace. It's the grace of God yeah. that brings one to repentance. The grace of God that brings one to the knee. How when you sit and you remember about the goodness of God. You remember about the love of God. You see me even if I go around and when I sit down. Because don't the Judas come to himself. Don't the Judas come to himself. So say to God if you're not coming to yourself, you're gone far. If you're not coming to yourself, you can't fall. Because when things are repeating itself, you can ask God, will you do? Don't ask God for nobody. Ask God, will you do? Ask God, when will you do? God, what part I went wrong? Right, right. You know, it's people of family and God send me to go apologize. They say, God, how oh, you could say, and you said, bring you, bring me down, you got to come down. You got to be a The other day, God sent me, I tell you, my old body, nervous. I said, God, this is the night of Christian, you say, God, go apologize. You got to go. Because you are the light of the earth. You are the light. You got to show the example. My body, nervous. My body nervous. I said, God, he tell me one time, he tell me two times. I said, God, you got to come for me. He showed me some sign. He showed me the sign and I still asked him. He said, go. You got to go. You see, I want to pride in front, but I have to bring myself down and go. Sense of God when God speak, go. You see, last week, when the minister was ministering, God has to show you because sin got away in hiding. Sin got away in hiding. And you might not bring it out. You would start sinning from the inside. And saints of God, when the Holy Spirit was ministering there, I was crying through the old service. And then I asked God, what do you want to do? Because I've broken here before you. He said, go and take the apostle, the one that when you come, it has for Shana, when you come, and everybody show you a sign, it's only he is seeing what I'm seeing you. God might open his eyes. The only one had patience with Shana, otherwise the makeup. Has a disorosity. Saints of God, I was so rusty, but thank God for pruning me. Thank God for bringing me through the fire. I had to obey the voice of God. It's God hardening me to do it. 
I could only do what God said, because my life is not my own. Men and women could think all what I want to think. But God knows the reason that He tells me. And I obey. Because if I did disobey, I have to pay the consequences. I obey. Saints of God, you need to obey. Don't try to bring yourself. This woman has to bring herself down. She could have cursed them because she was no Christian. She could have tell them all sorts of things. But she brings herself down. Because she said, today I am leaving here until I get answers. And when you come in the presence of God, don't come out until you get answers. Let us stop. In the presence of God, there is liberty and fullness of joy. Why we still unhappy? We got to ask ourselves. Because this is what God said. God don't go against his word. God's word is a and amen. Amen. God's word is a and amen. In Hebrews chapter 6, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, It said, without faith is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is a reward of those that diligently worship him. He is a reward of those that diligently come to him after Is a reward. He said, He has all your cares upon him because he cares for you. He will take care of it. Saints of God, I have come thus far, and God has never failed me. I failed him. Saints of God, I messed up enough time, but God cleaned up. Saints of God, when I'm not faithful, God remain faithful. God remain faithful. And every tears that I cry at this altar, it did not drop in vain. I see results. And I am still seeing results. And at one time, my children used to say, Mommy, I'll turn them laughing you. Because every week you crying. I tell them I'm crying to y'all and I'm crying to the children. I'm crying to the mother so let them laugh. Saints, when you're desperate. You see, this woman is. She, the Bible says she come crying to Jesus. And his Lead us around him, urge him to chase the woman because the woman was coming and nagging in days. You believe this woman was come crying to them. This woman come crying to them. Eh? But this woman was coming and nagging in days. And they want the master to chase this woman. It's the same thing. The same thing happening in church. When you come crying, we should come and cry and cry and cry and we come cry and cry and cry and he know what to do if I didn't know what to do I want to come and cry it's help and need if this woman know what she had to do she want to come cry for help she come cry for help she need help I come cry for you so don't best this God is or go out of church you. Saints of God, don't watch at people. When situation comes to find that you get fed up, don't watch at people. They say all sorts of things. But you know who you come crying to. And when you know who you come crying to, you don't care who talk. They talk all sorts of 
thing. You cry today and you fall back in the same thing tomorrow. You cry back tomorrow, you fall back in the same thing. Nothing. You're, but you're crying until God help. Because God is the helper. No man or woman could help you. Only God. That is a place we gotta come with that desperation. Come with that desperation. Bring yourself down. All sorts of names they call this woman. But this woman said, I come to them. I don't care. So long as he chases me, I don't care who chases me. I'm going. If the master said to go, I know I gotta go. And then she didn't even look like she didn't going nowhere. <laughs> because she, the Bible says she bow and she bow. She bow at his feet and she at the whole hand. She hold hand at his feet and cry. And cry for help. She was desperate. So even the one that had the answer in the chair, she should be going. He embarrassed her by calling her down. But she swallowed all her pride because she needed you. My encouragement, God is asking how desperate you are. How desperate you are. How desperate you want to come out from this situation. God is asking this morning as I call upon the apostle, the arm over the mic. I encourage you this morning that we get to that desperation and shut up, put away everything, and let God take over. Amen. Amen. Jesus loves you all. You know, God is speaking to us. You might wonder if myself and Miss Roshan had a conversation. It's like she continued where they fell. Brother, you feel something like that? To the God that. The God that answers. Amen, amen, amen. She went to the God. The answers. And it's a part of that story that even the disciples spoke to Jesus. Some people, why you crying to him? Some people were to see him, Jesus, you cry to him, and tell him your membership. They went to Jesus and Jesus, cheer she away. And listen to the lies, because she's crying to us. Yes. Yes. They bowl. Yes. I said they bowl. Yes. Some people go and pray against you. Yeah. Yes. 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 But because you know yes. who answers prayer. <laughs> oh, yes. Because you know the one that answers prayer. You know, the old message is make up your mind to serve God. Be desperate. Because the time we are living in. The enemy is out to scatter. And he's not going to scatter the people in the world, he's in the church. And in case you did not recognize, or you did not understand, or you don't know, everything that is going on right now all over the world, where men are sitting together, planning to eliminate people, they themselves don't even know that the enemy is using them and that every attack is aimed to the church. Yes. Every attack. Yes. But they don't know. The devil knows. Hello. I said the devil knows. And so get you and I frustrated. Because right now, if the truth should be told, Actually, the only kind of frustrated, they're tired, they're yes. fed up. Yes. One time freedom, one time lock up. One time freedom, next time lock up, with no reason. Give you a Sunday, take back a Sunday. It's a frustrate you. But the only thing they're trying to do, 
do a stand of words. Because we know the one that answers prayer. I said, we know. Okay, I turn from the I know. I know. And in all of this, we will be dropping abundance. Listen to me. If you read your Bible properly, the churches always grow through persecution. So everything they're trying to do, look us today. We refuse to be frustrated. Because God never gave us a day to serve Him. <laughs> yes. He said every day. Yes. So if the close the Sunday, we get we take the Saturday. If the bottom of the Saturday, we go on the Friday. Yes. Whatever. Hallelujah. Our good and our pleasant and our pleasant for it is for brethren to come together on Sunday, the Bible said. On Tuesday, on Saturday, every time. Every time. It is good for the brethren to come together. Make up your mind Amen. to serve God. Lord, and if I should close this in a proper way, I would close it by telling you, Jesus is at hand. Amen. The King is at hand. Amen. Because the scriptures are being fulfilled in our very present Everything that is happening, it is in the Bible. And he said, when you see these things, look up. Look up. Don't look down. You're not a drunkie. Yes. Look up. Your redemption. Brothers and sisters, let's tighten our places. Amen. 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 So, I said, you know, we got to get back to some of the school songs. I look up the road. I think that you're wondering how oh, far. I am from God. Yes. When I realize how far I put up my shoes, I'm not running from God, I'm running to God. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to tell the people, tell somebody close to Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Amen. amen. Tell one in front of you beside tell, tell everybody inside of you. Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Now, for the announcement, briefly, I want to welcome Brother Shawin. Shawin, please stand up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We welcome you. Amen. Amen. So we want to bring you more than one of us that like you. Welcome back. I know you're back for a short time, but you're welcome. Yeah. 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 Next time you see him, he'll turn more shoulder. Next time you see him, he'll turn more shoulder. Please don't get brighter of these. Yeah. And don't let it be a little flat as mine. Yeah. We love you. We love you. We love you. I know that we, our prayer was always with you. Amen? Hallelujah. He's a soldier in the army. I know God has, God has given a position in the physical army also. A real soldier. Let's all stand. Let's stretch our hands towards him. And we speak favor of God. Doors that the enemy have kept closed. Two people will be open this time. They will not only see it. You will know it. So we anoint you with this fire as appointed or honored by God that this new season the favor of God will not only be upon you but this time is going to overtake you. And every step that you make, you'll be walking in favor. And not only you have favor with God, but you have favor with men. In the mighty name of Jesus, we decree and we declare 
that every plan, every trap, every decision that is not of God will not prevail. But the purpose and the will of God is going to prevail in your life. And your life will shine.